setting up emulation on the Steam Deck used to take hours. In this video, I'll show you the easiest way to get your favorite retro games running. No BIOS confusion, no technical headaches, just a simple beginner-friendly guide that works perfectly in 2025. Let's get started. Before we jump in, here are a few things that will make the process a lot smoother. First, a wireless keyboard and mouse. You can use the Steam Deck's built-in controls, but trust me, it's way easier with a keyboard and mouse. Second, a USB drive or external hard drive loaded with your ROMs or games. You'll need access to them a bit later in the guide. Got those ready? Cool. Let's move on. Start by pressing the Steam button on your Steam Deck. Scroll down to Power and select Switch to Desktop Mode. This will take you into SteamOS's desktop environment. Once you're in Desktop Mode, open your browser. If this is your first time here, it's usually Firefox or Google Chrome. Head to emudeck.com. That's emudck.com. Click Download and choose the version for SteamOS. Once downloaded, drag the file onto your desktop so it's easy to find. Now double-click the file and hit continue on the first prompt. That'll launch the Emu Deck installer. You'll now see two setup options, easy mode and custom mode. But since we're keeping things fast and simple, choose easy mode. Next, choose where you want to install everything either on your internal storage, your SD card, or a custom location. For me, I've got space, so I'm picking internal storage. But choose what works best for you. After that, it'll ask what device you're using. Choose Steam Deck. Now comes a cool feature, integration level. Basically, do you want to launch all your games from one place, like Emulation Station? Or do you want them to appear in your regular Steam library? I prefer the second option, so I'm going with highest integration. Once you've made your pick, click Finish to begin the installation. Emu Deck will now download and install all the recommended emulators, then configure them automatically. This will take a few minutes, so be patient. When it's done, you'll see an installation complete screen. Click Next to continue. Now let's add your games. Choose the option to manually copy your games, and click Open Emulation Folder. Close any folders that Emu Deck opens for you, and instead, just click Next in Emu Deck Installer where it says Waiting for Manual Copy. Then go ahead and launch Steam ROMs Manager and finally click Finish. You can now close the Emu Deck installer, and next we're going to manually transfer our games into the correct folder on the Steam Deck. Open Dolphin or File Explorer and navigate to Home, and then to Emulation. Inside, you'll see a folder called ROMs. This is where you'll put your game files. Each emulator has its own folder. For example, GBA, GBC, GC for GameCube, PS2, and so on. Just drag and drop your game files into the correct folders. Now grab your, your external hard drive or whichever device you're using to store your games where you can download games directly to your Steam Deck if you prefer. Reminder, only use ROMs for games you legally own. Support developers whenever you can. Simply drag and drop all the games file into their corresponding folders inside the ROMs folder that I just showed you. Once your games are copied over, go back to your desktop and open Emu Deck again. This time, launch Steam ROM Manager. Then click Parse. This step will scan your games and download all the box art and metadata. 
then hit save to Steam. That will push all your games into your Steam library. Now let's test it out. I've loaded up some Game Boy Advance. As you can see, everything runs beautifully and the emulators launch directly from the Steam library. But what about something heavier like PlayStation 2? When I tried launching a PS2 game, I got an error, it didn't start. That's totally normal because PS2 emulation requires a BIOS file. Don't worry, I'll show you exactly how to fix that in the next step. Head back into desktop mode and go to the BIOS folder inside emulation. Drop your PS2 BIOS file right in there. Then, reopen Emu Deck and use the BIOS Checker tool on the left. If everything's good, you'll see a green check mark. Switch back to Gaming Mode on your Steam Deck. Open your library, head to Collections. If everything worked, it should run perfectly with controller support already set up. And that's it. In less than 10 minutes, you've got emulation running on your Steam Deck with no hassle. If this guide helped you, please give the video a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more easy tutorials like this one. Got questions? Drop them in the comments. Thanks for watching and happy gaming.